Welcome back to our episode to the next big thing, part three. And we are going to look at some of the solutions to battle lice. And I'm here with Tarald Kleppa Everbø. You are R&D manager at Harbor Fence. Yes. And uh, you have come up with a solution. Can you give me, in general, what is it? What is Harbor Fence? So. In brief, the, the Harbor Fence technology is uh, innovation pulse technology uh, we are introducing uh, beneath the sea, around the sea cages. And we are exposing the infectious stages of the sea lice, meaning that we are targeting nuclei stages and copepidid stages. This is the stages that are infectious, and we want to target them with a special made pulse strain. Meaning that when the uh, pulse migrates inside the pen, the pulse tra train will give them several caramels, meaning that they will not be able to develop afterwards, and they will not uh, reach the new stage, and they cannot be adult uh, female male lice. What, what's the basis of, of this amazing technology? So we introduce uh, some special made electrodes, and we situated them around the, the net pens, and they are generating a pulse uh, during the whole day. And the pulse is so fast that uh, it gives about 20 pulses per second. Uh, and it's 10 meters depth. And it's fixated in a net pen and it hangs outside the, the, the conventional net pens. So, so it's, it's non-penetrable when the, when the light comes in towards the cage? Yes, because the, the barrier is the electrical fence or electrical yeah. barrier. Yeah. So it's like uh, what we use for mosquitoes? Yeah. But you don't kill it. No, we it inactivated. Is. We inactivate the stages, but we not do not kill the, the lice. So, so it cannot then stick to the salmon. Perfect. I, I, exactly. I assume that you are then fairly optimistic on the further development. I mean, the fish farmers are really wondering mm. what are we going to uh, to do. So, how do you see this harbor fence developing further? So, uh, from from my point of view, we have several mitigations or measurements you can use. We have cleaner fish, we have stingray, we have lice skirts, and we have harbor fence, and we have the blue lice system, but actually it's not that many options you can uh, apply to, to, to mitigate the, the lice problem. Um, so I think a combination of reducing the overall pressure that you can do with blue lice and, and harbor fence, and you can use uh, cleaner fish and stingray inside net pens to, to further uh, reduce the lice pressure when the adult stage is uh, on the fish. And later in our episode, we are going to meet a Swede who will make salmon feed out of Swedish forest waste. Odfrude Roalsnes, uh, welcome. Thanks a lot. You are CCO of Salmon Evolution. That's right. Uh, it's a company producing land-based salmon. What's the story? Yeah, time flies. Uh, we started off in 2017. We are uh, located on the west coast of Norway in the county of Møre and Romsdal, where we have our grow-out, land-based grow-out facility in Drahari. Together we, have, we also have uh, our own smolt facility located south of Ålesund in Dalsfjorden. And what kind of advantages does that give you being on the coast since you're on land? It's a location where we have rich access to seawater. It's more like a top of a cliff. Just outside we have access to the, to the purest seawater we can find. And of course, in Møre Romsdal as a county has a lot of contractors, suppliers of, uh, of technology which we are using in our systems. It's a good place to be, in other words. Yeah, I, I will define it as the, the heart of the aquaculture cluster. And, and um, there are many different concepts in land-based, as it is in sea farm uh, salmon. What, what is your concept? We call our um, technology hybrid flow-through. It means we are taking in huge amount of water, but we are also cleaning the water and reusing some parts of the water from an energy perspective. And we believe that to give the salmon uh, water from, with a very high quality is the best condition we can offer the salmon in order to, to grow and to utilize the 
full production capacity. And you have already uh, had fish in the market. You're, you're the sales yep. guy. Uh, Absolutely. How has it been received? Most of our salmon is sold in the European markets. We have focused in, in the Nordic countries in the beginning and then gradually expand. Uh, and of course, in, in the value chain of, of, uh, of the salmon industry, there are different segments. And we see that our take on uh, protecting the oceans, uh, farming a salmon uh, with a, a production cycle without any sea lice. So uh, absolutely to have a controlled environment where you basically uh, can monitor the fish at all time. Uh, there are less handling, which allows the fish to to be in peace and, and, to, and to grow. Uh, that's, we see that resonates very well with, um, with a lot of segments in, in the market. Yeah, people are out there saying that I can eat salmon, but it has to be lamb-based. Absolutely, that's, uh, that's a trend we see. And of course, we, we are still uh, relatively young, a uh, young company. We have been uh, farming now for more than three years. And we see that there are more and more customers uh, which are attracted to our take. So in the future, we need to activate new technology in order to, to feed the world. And land-based is, uh, is not the solution, but it's a part of the solution. Yeah, I mean, I've tasted your salmon and it was actually very good. <laughs> yeah. Each year, Aquanur is celebrating innovation by honoring an innovative product or technology with the Innovation Award. In our next part, part four, we will continue our quest to find the next big thing. But first, catch of the day. A manifestation of the next big thing is really the Innovation Award at 2025. So the winner is... Green Fox Marine. Congratulations, Jastia. Thank, thank you very, very much. It's been um, a tough competition, and we know from history that the winners of the Innovation Award tend to grow and become quite substantial. And we are ready. We are there for the market. You are ready to scale up? We are ready to scale up. What kind of innovation is this? This is a very uh, special innovation with artificial intelligence together with medical ultrasound. We have collected data and then we can sort between female and male salmon. But we can also do health index. We can look for nephrocalcinosis. We can look for early maturation. So you've taken competence and knowledge from the medical industry we and moved it over to the aquaculture industry. We, we have we have Eurotech ultrasound, medical ultrasound from Tydal in Trøndelag. Oh. And this uh, ultrasound is used on uh, open heart surgery. And they uh, found out this solution could be used to look inside the salmon. Yeah, and the jury said that there is a big market potential. It takes care of fish welfare mm. and it has an international potential yes yes extremely good and in chile they have done gender sorting manually for yeah. many years already uh, so now we're just almost waiting for the norwegian companies as well and the rest of the world scotland iceland the faroe island and and everyone and doing the gender sorting together with the health index and the vaccination it's something so this is good. like a, a, a all-in-one solution. Yes, you get three things in all, but uh, our solution is also modular. So you can choose one module. Uh, if you want only uh, gender sorting without vision system, for example, you can do that. Why do we want to sort on gender? It's because they tend to, the, the mortality goes down and the growth of the salmon, both the female and the male, grows a lot more when they are alone in the cages. You don't get the fight of the, of the food as much as you get when you have female and males together. Less wounds and, and the wounds also heals much better. Amazing what yes. the kind of technology that's been invented and also presented at Aquanua 2025. Yes, we I need did. to see the, sh the <laughs> check and make a nice group photo of the winner of this year's Innovation Award, Green Fox Marine.